Action News exclusive. He fought in Iraq only to be attacked here on U.S. soil. I'm defending my life here. A soldier squares off with Metro Police at McCarran International Airport. You won't believe what happens next. The look in his eyes was just Fake. rage. Um, it is a violent clash caught on video. You will only see it right here on Action News. And tonight it has the Metro Police Department facing some tough questions about its use of force. Action News reporter Ben DC has more in an exclusive Contact 13 investigation. It's NASCAR weekend just days before Sergeant Mark England's National Guard unit is about to deploy. England comes to Las Vegas for a little fun before going off to war, but ends up finding himself in combat right here. Blow after blow. In the middle of McCarran Airport, the man swinging in this grainy video is a Metro cop. But is the man he's hitting a criminal or a security threat? This is the Army Commendation Medal that I received for my uh, service in Iraq. Sergeant Mark England has seen more combat than many in the National Guard. He served in Bosnia and more recently Iraq. He's a medic. We saw, you know, sick people, hurt people, um, did that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Or we went on patrol with uh, line units where we went out looking for the insurgents. But Mark's wife Juliana says she's most troubled by the violence he faced here on American soil. I was concerned because after I saw him and knew the injuries he had that they didn't check him out. You know, they slapped a couple band-aids on him and said, say la vie. Now, see it for yourself for the first time in this video shot by security cameras at McCarran Airport. That's Mark England. When he tries to make it through security with a bottle of Sprite, a TSA agent pulls him out of line and then pulls rank on him. So he goes, you, well, you're a sergeant in the Army. I go, yes, sir. And he goes, well, I'm a lieutenant in the Army. When England asks to see his military ID, the TSA agent refuses. And I looked at him and I said, sir, with all due respect, that's effed up. Using the yes. big F word. England thought that was the end of it until he got to his gate and found out his plane had left without him. He says the soldier in him wanted answers, so he went back to talk with the TSA supervisor. It was important to him. I said, let it go. You know, he's probably just some jerk that works at the airport. Juliana England says it's hard for her to think about what happened next. This is a surveillance video, and that's the Metro cop who came over when Mark England returned to the security checkpoint. He walks England off screen, but we pick him up on a different camera. There they are at the top of your picture. Watch as the Metro officer pulls out his police baton. With a flourish, he spins the weapon and starts to swing. The look in his eyes was just rage. rage. The beating is severe, according to England. He says he came away with a black and bloodied eye, three fractured ribs, cuts and scrapes all over his arms. And it's not long before the Metro officer has backup. That's his help running through the picture, and that's a taser gun he's drawing. Watch again as England's body crumples to the ground. That's when he says he was hit by the taser's crippling bolt of electricity. It's indescribable. Um, it's every single nerve cell in your body being lit on fire. England claims the officer shot him not once, but three times with the taser gun. In a statement today, Metro told me it's all the subject of a, quote, ongoing internal affairs investigation. They said, we've reviewed the surveillance tape and do not believe our officers acted outside policy. Until now, we've been focusing on that confrontation here at the top of the screen. But the airport security camera isn't the only witness to all of this. Here in the foreground, a third Metro officer has arrived, and he reacts much differently than you or I would to what he's seeing. The Metro officer is talking to a TSA agent about what's happening. You can see him mimic England's collapse with his hand and then practically skip away from the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, they're just laughing about it. It's been two months since Sergeant Mark England had his run in with Metro Police. He still hasn't been charged with any crime. Andy says he hasn't been able to deploy back to Iraq either, partly because of the injuries he got here at McCarran Airport. The weekend before uh, I'm supposed to ship out my guys, I get my ribs caved in, 
and now I'm non-deployable. Meanwhile, the two officers involved are still on the job, even while Metro's internal investigation is continuing. The Metro says they are investigating this incident thoroughly. The FBI also taking a look at this case. Steve? Ben, does Metro have a specific policy on the use of tasers? Yeah, well, as part of investigation, we got a hold of Metro's policy on tasers, and it makes it pretty clear an officer should use a taser when he or she is a facing aggressive resistance from a suspect. All right, thank you, Ben. And uh, Action News will continue to follow this story, including a closer look at Metro's taser policy. We'll also hear what the ACLU has to say about this story coming up tomorrow on Action News.